All right, so here I am at the end of the Irish week. It's been four whiskeys, and I've had a little more to drink than four whiskeys to get to this point. Right now, I have a sample. It's a big, generous sample that was sent to me by the whiskey neighbor, John, who's in Alberta. And Alberta is the neighboring province to British Columbia where I live. So he is indeed the whiskey neighbor. This is bottled at 59% alcohol by volume, cast strength. It is seven years old, it's non-chill filtered and natural color, but I don't know what distillery it's from because I am not really big on doing the, um, what you would call the research. Hold on. Let me pause this for a minute while I get some water because this is at 59%. I'm going to need some water to drink this with. Okay, I have the water. I have a great big heaping glass full of water. I have a spoon for to add it into the whiskey. I have here the sample. Oh, and I have here a clean Glen Cairn glass. And I'm going to pour some of this into there. And that's about a dram. And there's still a bunch. Oh, crap. There's like three more drams in here. This, this is like, this is a generous, generous, oh, okay. Super generous sample by John the Whiskey Neighbor in Alberta. It's like one third of a dram. That's one third of it is a dram. So we're talking about 150. This is this is 150 mils, if not a little more. This is about 50 mils. Yeah, 50 mils is about a comfortable dram for me. And got a bunch of water. This is about 59%. So I'm bracing myself. I have been drinking all evening. And now this is the last one. I always move from gentler to stronger. And this is the stronger one. On the nose, I'm getting a bit of marshmallow. A little bit of Oh, there's something more going on there. There's something coming up. It's it's coming up to the surface. What have I got? A little bit of marshmallow and alcohol burn. And there's more. There's some fruitiness. There's some some cherries. There's some dried fruits. Oh, there's more. It's coming in. I'm getting something herbal, too. Uh, what is that? Herbal. Grassy. Fresh-cut hay. Bales of hay. And yet there's something herbal beneath the hay. Uh, some vanilla, vanilla, just a slight bit of nuttiness, but I can't place the nuts. I can't tell you what kind of nuts they are. Uh, this is going to need, at 59%, this is going to need some very small sip. See what that very small sip gives me. Because I'm going to start adding water to get more out of the nose. Because it's, it's alcohol and marshmallows for the most part right now. I'm going to... Okay. Hmm.
Oh. Oh. That is strong. That is very strong. I'm getting some burn. I'm also getting some some darkest dried fruits. And I don't know much about this particular darkish dried fruits like prunes and uh, yeah prunes dates and stuff water water is my friend when I get the strong things like this I'm gonna have to go to a second a second okay I'm getting prunes and figs and dates and raisins. And I'm getting something else too. And I'm trying to figure out what that something else is. And I'm just talking about the nose so far. What is that other thing I'm getting? Dates. Um, some kind of nuts. But I can't be sure what kind of nuts they are. Some kind of nuts. Ooh. Let's see now. It's got a lot on the nose. More than I can possibly enunciate. Let's take another tiny little sip and see what happens. Because I'm getting like dates and figs and prunes and raisins and some vanilla and something else. There's a lot of something else. I think this is quite complex. Even though it's only seven years old, it's bottled at 59%. This whistler might make me do some whistling myself. Okay. dark dried fruit and then a sweetness is quite sweet that dark dried kind of thing is coating my mouth from all sides but in the middle at the tip of the tongue there is a sweetness happening here ooh okay I no, this is this stuff is pretty hot. Fifty-nine percent. I'm gonna add a spoon of water and see what happens to it. There goes a whole spoon of water right into there. Ugh. And I still have like another three or four drams here. Oh, John, you are generous. You're a generous fellow. I I salute you and I thank you. This is just marvelous yeah. <clears throat> oh, excuse me I have been drinking whiskey all evening it is 2 a.m. what do you want oh. more prunes and Dates and figs and fig newtons. I am reminded of fig newtons. I haven't had fig newtons in a long time. And I was even in the grocery store last night and I almost bought some cookies, but I thought, nah, cookies are not good for my diabetic condition. And then now I'm thinking fig newtons would be just lovely. Ah. Oh my goodness. Here we go. It's been watered down, but I'm still getting the same dark fruits. Maybe not as intense as they were, but they're still there. Oh, okay. Let's cleanse the palate.
what is the strength of this now? 53%, 55%, I don't know. It don't matter as long as I get it right. <laughs> okay. Mm. It's still kind of hot. I'm still getting the same mouth-watering notes that I was getting before of the dark, dry fruits. Gray, uh, not raisins, but more prunes and dates and figs. That's mostly what I'm getting on the on the palate, on the nose. More of the same. A little bit of alcohol burn, burning the little nose hairs out. Before I know it, my whole beard will burn up. It's, uh, uh, yeah, Fig Newtons and dates and raisins and all of those dried, dark fruits. Prunes. Oh, wow. What other complexities am I getting out of this piece of work here? John, you've given me quite a challenge. Do I get anything besides those dark fruits? That's what I'm trying. That's what I'm looking for. This is the Whistler Irish whiskey. Oh, wow. There is some distillery character out of there, uh, coming out of this, that tingles. It reminds me of Glen Farkless 15, which I could have picked up for $109 last night at the liquor store. I'm going to add another spoon of water to this dram. That might open up a little more something, or it might not, whatever the case may be. All right. Oh, wait a minute. I'm getting a black licorice note now. Just as this thing is fading out, it's fading out and leaving me a finish of black licorice star anise. Oh, this is changing as it goes. Interesting, very interesting. Okay. Oh, black licorice now. Oh, let's see what happens now that I have given it some water or some more water for the second time. Okay. Fig Newtons, dates, raisins, prunes. Dried dark fruits. That's what I'm getting on the nose. Okay. And on the nose, I'm not getting uh, so much of that black licorice star anise kind of thing. Dark dried fruits, yes. There's some vanilla and caramel lurking under there, I'm pretty sure. Oh. Really, this is Irish? Ah. Oh. It's different from any Irish that I would, that I have had so far, and that I can imagine. Mm.
the mouthfeel is still after adding water twice. The mouthfeel is still quite alkaline, slippery. I get the dried fruits, but in the end, in the end, there's the black licorice on the tip of my tongue. My whole mouth is covered up by the dark fruits, but on the tip of the tongue, I'm getting that black licorice. And it seems to spread from the tip of my tongue to the sides of the tongue and seems to stay there and fade slowly. Oh my word, this is an experience. Aftertaste, black licorice, star anise. I'm going to add some of this to my, this is my uh, infinity bottle. My infinity of Irish whiskey. I'm going to add some to there, but not all of it because I want to save some of this. This is superb stuff. Thank you, John. This is great. Oh, I got some of it in there. Uh, I still have about uh, two fifths of a sample bottle. And what a generous sample bottle this is. My gosh, I'm going to be able to enjoy this a couple more times. And it's in my in my uh, infinity too. So my Irish infinity is going to be real interesting now with this addition to it. Oh, I can't even get another dram in there. Maybe half a dram. But this is going to make a very interesting uh, Irish um, Infinity bottle. Okay. Getting back to this juice. It is quite simply a wonderful, wonderful whiskey that you have sent me. What an experience. Dark fruits, coating the mouth all around, on every side, on the palate, on the tongue, under the tongue, on the sides, all the way back to the uvula. And then, then the black licorice star anise comes in at the tip of the tongue and flows to the back. Oh, my goodness, what a wonderful dram this is. It takes time to appreciate something like this. And I'm glad that I took the time to do it. This is marvelous. Thank you once again, John, the Whiskey Neighbor, for making it possible for me to try this stuff. Wow. It still has a beautiful beautiful nose. Beautiful stuff. Slanchava. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah.